Hi, I'm Summer Maddox. And I'm Lexi Mueller. And welcome, welcome back, back to, to Cruise, Cruise Line. Line. Yeah, behind the desk there is two. Look in the back and you're gonna see the Cruise Line. News, news, news. Yeah, so I basically love China because I also love weather too, which is why both my signals are closed in this broadcast. Now that spring sports are finally starting up, some teams are making changes for the new season. One of those teams being the Lance Cruz High School baseball team, bringing in a new coach. Let's take a look. The Lance Cruz High School baseball team has recently added a new coach to the program. Let's take a look on how the team is adapting to the change. How and why I got this job is when I heard the job was available. Um, I've coached right down the road for the last six years as varsity baseball coach. And I've always thought that Lance Cruz has had a very strong program with great communities, great families. And uh, so I jumped at the opportunity to become the head coach here. Um, I like the new coach a lot. I feel like we're going to start off hot and we're going to end hot. Uh, he brings a lot of new stuff to the table and I like it. Well, I feel the new coach has like, prepared us so far this season like really good, and I feel like it's going to be better than last year. Last year, we didn't do too good, and I just feel like we have like a better environment and a better team than last year. He reminds me of my travel ball coach, not the one from last year, but this one that I have this year. Um, he's really nice. He's, he wants like, people to improve and not just, like, how would I word it, just do, like, just play for him. Uh, my goals for this season are just to improve from right now. We just had our first day of tryouts yesterday. I think everything went great. But my job as a coach is to make sure we're getting better as the season goes along. So right now we're still getting a feel for the players we have, getting to know everybody. Um, but our goal is to improve from the beginning of the season to the end. Um, for this season, I'd say some goals would be um, win as many games as we can, uh, get a league title again, and of course, state championships, which you always want, but started off with a district championship. Well, I think our goal should be like, you know, finish above 500. Hopefully, you know, just have an all around good season and uh, win, a, win some baseball games. Our goal of this season is to go above 500 and win the district championship and go farther than that, I hope. Um, only changes I plan on making is being uh, much more open with the players, okay, communicating um, better. Hopefully the kids have a better experience than they've had in the past. I know I've heard some things, but um, we're going to start with a clean slate this year, and everyone's going to get an opportunity to show what they can do, and we hope to, again, show some improvement from the beginning of the year to the end and hopefully compete for a league championship and district championship. Seems like their new coach has already made a great impact on the team, and we can't wait to see their progress this season. I'm Summer Bye. Maddox. Sounds like the team is adjusting nicely to their new coach. I agree. I can't wait to see how they do this season. While we're on the topic of teams adjusting to new changes, have you heard about what the LC track team is dealing with? What? No. What's happening? The track at LC is being redone, so the team has been holding their practices at LCN and various middle schools. Wow, that sounds stressful. Let's see how the team feels about this. <laughs> Recently, we got the chance to interview the Lance Cruz High School track team, who are currently going into their track season without a physical track at their school. This is what the athletes and coaches had to say about it. I feel a little worried about the upcoming track season. I'm a bit worried because we don't really have a track. I feel a little nervous, but confident. Well, it is definitely going to be a challenge. Uh, we're trying to find a place that we can practice. I mean, obviously, we can run on the surface that's out here now. I don't really care about practicing at another school. Uh, because I'm locked in no matter what. We're going to have to practice at other places and we have no home meets. So. I'm not really too worried about it. I just wish we could have had a new track uh, starting the season, but like I said, I'm not too worried about it. Main goals in the track team would be definitely to win the MAC Blue. My main goals is to improve my 200 meter time from a 24-38 to a mid to low 23s or even a high 22s. My main goals are uh, definitely to improve my pole vaulting and just adjust to like the new team and 
anything you have to overcome? My main goals this season are to uh, learn how to pole vault, uh, be varsity in something, and uh, break a school record. I don't think the absence of a track is going to affect us too much. I mean, we have, as I say, we have a few challenges that we're going to have to overcome, but I think our kids will adapt. I think our athletes are good enough to be able to make the adjustment, and I don't think it will hamper us at all. I think uh, our team shouldn't really be affected by it. We should still have the same practicing chemistry and everything. I don't think it should affect us at all. It's hard to find positives, so it's going to be a little rough because, like I said, we don't have the home advantage like at meets. They're all away. Uh, I feel like the team is going to be affected at first by not having a track, but we're going to bounce back. While there were many mixed opinions, the general attitude of the athletes and the coaches was hopeful and the team should persevere through their season despite these setbacks. This was William Catalfio reporting. Back to you at the news desk. It's great to hear that the team is still finding ways to get their training in through all of this. Definitely. At least the weather is finally getting warm enough for spring sports to start. Speaking of the weather getting warmer, what are your plans for spring break? I'm going to Punta Cana this year. What about you? I'm going to Florida. Wow, that's so fun. I wonder what the rest of our school has planned. And who am I here joined with? I'm Chris Ricard. And where are you going for spring break? I'm going on a cruise with my family and his girlfriend, the, that family. And what are you most excited for on that cruise? Um, hmm. Uh, they have a brother named Cody. I can't wait to hang out with them. My brother, uh, my two brothers have, a, have girlfriends, and the Cody's the left one out, so I can't wait to hang out with him. It sounds like it's going to be a good cruise. It is. It is. And who am I here joined with? Uh, Gino Russo. And where are you going for spring break? Uh, Mexico. And what are you most excited for? The beach and the food. The beach and the food? Yeah. Sounds like a good week. And who am I here joined with? Kate Gamas. And where are you going for spring break? I'm actually staying home this spring break. What are you most excited for? Um, I'm not excited for anything because I'm going to be doing nothing, but I'm about to be working and I'm going to be getting my money up this week. I feel that. I feel that. Who am I here joined with? Ariel Love. And where are you going for spring break? Miami, Florida. What are you most excited for? Um, I'm excited to, like, I've never been there before, so I'm just excited to get out of my comfort zone and go to the beach and stuff. That's it. Sounds like a pretty good week. All right, and who am I here joined with? I'm uh, Muscle Man. And where are you going for spring break? I'm going to Miami. And what are you most excited for? Uh, the sun. The sun. Do you like to sunbathe? Uh, it, it loves me. The sun loves me. The sun loves you? The sun loves me. I say the sun loves me too. Who am I here joined with? Oh, Logan LeBeau. And what are you doing for spring break? Oh, I'm headed over to New York. And what are you most excited for? Uh, exploring the tunnel system they made. Pretty interesting. Sounds pretty fun. All right, who am I here joined with? Brandon Moed. And what are you doing for spring break? Going to Fort Myers, Florida. And what are you most excited for? Uh, I'm going to try and wrestle an alligator. Wrestling an alligator. And who am I here joined with? Uh, Alex Denardi. And what are you doing for spring break? I'm going to watch Brandon Moed wrestle an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. And who am I here joined with? Blake Grossfield. And where are you going for spring break? I am going on a cruise to Costa Rica. And what are you most excited for on that cruise? Um, just uh, getting some sun. I agree. It sounds like it's going to be a good cruise. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a great time, and I'm looking forward to it. But um, there's an opportunity for those who are not going to be traveling in the next segment, so stay tuned. Back to you at the news desk. If you're looking for something to do on spring break, I have a couple tips and pointers. Over spring break, we are supposed to have moderate weather. But there are different things you can do each day in order to fill your time in. If you want to most effectively utilize your time of spring break, make sure to not find yourself scrolling for too long on social media. Also, try to hang out with some of your friends. I recommend you to find a hobby and start building up on it. By the end of spring break, you will be proud to see all the progress you've made. There are many things to do in our area, no matter what weather you're in. All it takes is a Google search. Although the weather has been very unpredictable lately, we hope you have a great spring break. I'm Blake Grossfield, back to you at the news desk. Wow, that all sounds so exciting. I know, right? Only three days left. For those of you staying home this year, let's go to Will and take a look at the weather forecast for this week. 
Hello, my name is William Catalfio, and let's have a look at this week's weather. So this week, we've got a lot of cloudy weather and even some snow forecasted later in the week with highs in the low 40s and highs in the high 30s, and even some lows dropping down to the 20s. So make sure when you go outside this week that you bundle up because this Michigan weather is harsh, and hopefully you can get a relieving of it from spring break. So on that note, I think back to you at the news desk. Thanks, Will. Hey, Lexi, did you know there's only 56 days left of school and 42 left for seniors? Wow, time has really flown by. I can't believe it's almost time for us to graduate. I know, it's crazy to think about. But what are your plans for after graduation? I'm going to Central Michigan and major in broadcast. That's so exciting. I wonder what the other seniors have planned. Hi, I'm Alexis Mueller, and I'm here at the Frederick V. Pankow Center interviewing seniors to see what their plans are after graduation. What's your name? Nathan. And what are your plans for after graduation? Um, I'm going to college at the University of Michigan. What are you planning to major in? Dance. Very cool. <laughs> Who am I here with? Alexis Tiller. And what are your plans for after graduation? I'm undecided for a college, but I'm majoring in statistics. Very cool. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Nolan Rabarchek. And what are your plans for after graduation? I'm going to attend Michigan State University, get my undergraduate degree in human biology on a pre-med level. That's awesome. <laughs> What's your name? Miles Okula. And what are your plans for after graduation? My plans are to attend Macomb Community College for student education and trade school in welding. Very cool. What's your name? My name is Mary August. And what are your plans for after graduation? Uh, I plan to go to Macomb for two years and earn um, an associate's degree for um, uh, early childhood. Very cool. <laughs> Okay, who am I here with? Jermonte Oliver. And what are your plans for after graduation? Well, I'm going to college. Uh, I would like to go to Central Michigan and, uh, or Grand Valley, either or. But yeah, I'm going to college. And I'm already uh, doing engineering class uh, with my grandfather, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing a lot. That's cool. We wish you all the best of luck from Cruise Line. I'm Alexis Mueller, now back to you at the news desk. I can't wait to see all the amazing things they'll do in their futures. Same here. Well, that's all we have for you today. Make sure you follow us on all of our social medias and have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.